Mm. So what's going on guys, it's JM, it's Beatboxing, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel before you click onto any of my videos, also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions on what I'm saying in any of my videos, like always it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub or two on my channel, so Kyle Yafai retains his WBA Super Flyweight title after beating a very tough fighter in Seguri Marinako, he won the fight by 119-109 on all the judges scorecards, and... This was a very interesting fight. Like, Kao Yufai came out very explosive in the first round. He was landing hard shots on Maranako. And it looked like it was going to be an early night for Kao Yufai. Because at super flyweight, Kao Yufai can be a very dangerous puncher. We've seen him knock guys out in the first round before at super flyweight. And in his last fight against Lewis Conception, when he won the WBA super flyweight title, he looked fantastic. He didn't put a foot wrong in that fight and he was just too much for Lewis Conception. He just totally bamboozled him over 12 rounds. And tonight against Maranaka, it looked like it was only going to go three or four rounds. He dropped Maranaka in the second round and you thought, yeah, this is going to be an early night. But then somehow Maranaka started to get into the fight a little bit. He started backing Kao Yufai up with shots and he made the fight very competitive. Like, don't get me wrong, I still think Kao Yufai was very in control in the fight, but Maranaka really did put on a good performance for himself and he made it a tougher fight than expected for Kao Yufai. Like Kao Yufai went in there, tried to get an early night and it didn't happen. He went the distance and it was a good win for Kao Yufai. He wants the big fights, he wants a unification at um, Super Flyweight. He wants to fight Roman Gonzalez after his rematch and... There's other fighters at super flyweight like Naoya Anu and Paul Butler. There could be fights for future for Kao Yufai. I think Naoya Anu is the boogeyman at super flyweight. Like this guy is a monster and that's actually his nickname as well. He is called the monster. A Japanese fighter. He's just a brutal puncher. And it'd be interesting to see if Kao Yufai could get in the ring with somebody like him or Roman Gonzalez. Or Kajaris, somebody like that at Super Flyweight. Super Flyweight is not a very glamorous division. Them lower weights are not really glamorous, but there are some very good fighters at Super Flyweight and Bantamweight and Super Bantamweight. There are some good fighters out there, and you do see some good fights. And yeah, Kao Yufai won the fight pretty comfortable tonight. I thought the scores were a little bit too wide 119 109. I had it 117 111. For Kao Yufai. And it was just a little bit too wide for me. But it is what it is. You know what matchroom scorecards are like now. Sometimes they're a little bit too wide. But yeah Kao Yufai keeps it moving. And hopefully see him in a big fight soon. He's put in Birmingham boxing on the map. And he's the guy flying the flag for Birmingham. In terms of boxing right now. So yeah comment below in the comment section.